Hello, and welcome back to Tea with Tracy, coming to you on Tuesdays, spilling relevant tips, trends, and talk, and all things real estate, home ownership, and community related. Today, we are wrapping up our four-week series talking about title insurance and how that relates to real estate. And back with me again is Matt Hudson with First American Title. Welcome, Matt. Hi, Tracy. Glad to be here. <laughs> Glad to have you back. And so today, we are going to be talking about fraud. So this is something that, um, you know, we really want to make sure that you are aware of because it could be absolutely devastating. Um, we're talking about wire fraud. Um, as you go through the real estate transaction, now first, let me back up. So the first couple episodes, we talked about what is title insurance? How does it work? How is the, the title company involved throughout the real estate transaction and through to the closing? We talked about ways to take or hold title. And so now we're going to talk about the fraud piece of it. Now, I shouldn't say the fraud piece as, a, as though it's part of the process, but it's something that, um, you know, that can happen. You know, we want to make sure that you are not somebody who's going to be at risk for it. So, so tell us a little bit about what is wire fraud. Sure, sure. So it is uh, becoming a, uh, not becoming, it is a big problem in the real estate industry uh, mm -hmm. over the past few years. And the reason why it's become such a problem is that's where the money's at. So that's where the criminals are right. going to go. <laughs> so there are uh, billions, if not trillions of dollars flowing back and forth through the Federal Reserve from title companies and mortgage companies and buyers um, on a daily basis. And it can get stressful to buy a house. Right. You, know, you have you have emails going back and forth. You have your mortgage company, your your realtor, your title company, yep. you know, all getting ready for the for the closing and 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 what's happening are are these these fraudsters are hacking into the emails um, of the of the of the buyer most of the time right and they're they're just they're just watching they're watching the emails go back and forth they see you're getting close to the closing and then then they're going to strike and see that's something that that most people or many people may not know is that your email you know you use your free email services um that's just open text right so you really don't want to be sending your your sensitive personal information there because whether you like it or not there are people who are viewing your emails and so when you're working through the real estate transaction what is the first most important thing that, that we need to make sure we're doing? Um, Utilize the technology. Yeah. If, if the mortgage company or the title company has a secure email system or a secure portal or a secure website to transfer messages back and forth through, use that. Right. Use that first and foremost. It's going to offer you the, the most protection, and if there is a leak, then it's not the consumer's fault. Right. And there's some there's protection added in there for that. So the secure portals. So if you've gone through a real estate transaction, you may have received from um, the title company, from your lender, or even like as, as a buyer, right? When you're starting the pre-approval process, the, the lender will send you a link to go and load your documents into the secure portal. You want to make sure you do that. I know it's easier to just scan them or take a picture and send them over, but then you're just putting your information out there for these fraudsters right. who that's 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 how they're spending their days. They're that that's all they're doing is they're waiting and trying to prey on uh, someone who, you know, may be unprotected. Yes, so they're they're hard yeah. at work. They're hard yeah. at work. So if you're sending your your ten forties, your tax returns, your your you know, um, pay stubs, all that information, you're sending it to your mortgage company just as a PDF, Adobe attachment to your email, that puts you at risk. That puts yeah. you at risk. So if if they have the ability to to use use a portal type thing where you're going into their website, you're uploading those documents directly in it, that avoids that traffic. Yeah. So it, make sure make sure you're using the portals. I know that it can be uh you know it's an extra step and it's not always but but make sure you're doing it. It's for your own safety, your own protection. Um, so another way, right, so that you can protect yourself is make sure, like, so the title company, they're not going to send you an email and say, hey, send us, send your money here. <laughs> that's just not the way the process yes, works. Yes. So, <laughs> and, and that's what that's what the uh, the criminals and fraudsters are doing is is they're looking at that. They're monitoring those emails. You're coming up to a closing date. They know it's a stressful time. There, there's emails going back and forth, and then maybe they 
they make up a fake email that looks very similar to maybe the title rep's email. Right. It looks like Matt Hudson from yeah. at titlecompany.com, <laughs> right. not M. Hudson or something and along those lines. And they've stolen lines. your clip arts and yes. all of that to try to make it look real. But, yeah, you're going to want to look at that, who it's from. But but also, you, you know, I always tell my clients, and the way that we do it through the process is that they initiate the contact to you. Right. So if they want to receive their proceeds through a wire as opposed to getting the check at closing, if they are a buyer and they're bringing a large sum of money and they just want to have it wired over so that it's ready for closing, they need to contact you. I will give my clients contact and they will contact you um, to to provide that. So you should be, I mean, the, the red flag should be going up if you're receiving an email from the title company. And um, if you do... Um, and you you want to make sure, pick up the phone. Pick up the phone. Right. Pick up the phone. Call your realtor. Call your title company rep, and just just make sure. And I think most of the time you're going to find that's not that's not. Yeah. They'll be like, what? <laughs> no, no. Yes. So because because the sad thing is that this is there. Like you said, there's these fraudsters that this is what they're doing all day every day, and unfortunately, if they are successful and they receive your money. It's gone. It's gone. It's and, gone. you know, you your hard-earned money that you may have saved for years to be able to purchase your home, uh, maybe it's a home you lived in for many years and you have a big proceeds check that you, you need for either the next home or retirement or or whatever, um, That that's just gone. And uh, we don't want that to happen to yes, you. Yeah, so. yeah. Because they're, they're, the, the two main ways that they're targeting is they're, they're targeting the buyers to get the buyers to send uh, – the money to the wrong account and it would be lost forever. And then they're targeting us at the title company to pose as the seller to get us to send their proceeds to an, an, an incorrect account and right. a fraudster's account. And we have several safeguards at our title company. We would we would never accept title, uh, wiring instructions via an email from a seller saying, oh, by the way, right. I'm closing yeah. in an hour. Oh, just please, hey, please, yeah. Please Can wire my funds. Just send it here instead. Yeah. Yes, yes. <laughs> we're going we're yeah. to double, triple verify presented to the sellers yeah. um this is the account you want it to go to yes yes okay we're going to verify and then most um most wiring or computer systems that that the title companies have now is a wire safe check where they can actually verify you know this this isn't a this is a valid account this is a right. domestic account and well and that's so that's on the title company side you yes. do have lots of safeguards in place and you're well aware of this the other side that we were just talking about is on the, you know, more so on the buyer side. Yeah. And we just want to make sure that you are aware because it's not, that's yes. not part of the process. And we, we would really, it, it really can be devastating. And we just don't want to see that. Yes. See yeah. that happen. Don't I don't want it. that to happen to no. any, we don't want it to happen to any of our clients. No. So, <laughs> yeah, yeah. So, but, um, so, so never just send your money off. No, never. don't, don't do that. Always, you know, verify, pick up the phone. Um, you will be initiating that wire. Yes, yes. So you'll be initiating it. So so that's that's wire fraud. So we've we've covered four weeks now. We've talked about what is title insurance, how does it work, you know, how how is the title company evolved through the closing, ways to take title, and wire fraud. We have other topics that we'll I'm sure we'll be doing another series in the in the near future with Matt. Um, but if you missed any of the other episodes, the previous episodes in this four-week series, go back and watch them. Lots of great information. And if you have any other topics that you would like more information, you want us to dive a little bit deeper on, then be sure to send me a message, put it in the comments, and we'll make sure that in an upcoming episode, we get your questions answered. So thank you, Matt, for, for joining us. It's been a pleasure. Thank you again, Tracy. Thank you. Always great to have you here. Thank you all for tuning in, and we'll see you next time on Team with Tracy.